Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out at the range today doing a little bit of plinking, a little bit of goofing around. And uh, I thought I would uh, do another video for you guys on a pretty cool gun from my collection. If you've been on the channel for any amount of time, you've seen this one before, but uh, we've added a lot more subscribers since uh, the last time I did a video on this one. So I thought it'd be a good time to get out and do a little bit of plinking with it. <clears throat> but what we have here is my H&R model M12, which is a pretty cool gun. It's not terribly old, but it is uh, getting some age on it. Uh, these were made back in the early 80s. Um, the Winchester company had discontinued their uh, Winchester 52 product line and left the government wanting something kind of a higher end target gun for the military uh, target competitions so they put out a, a bid spec and H&R uh, and, and a bunch of other people uh, bid on the the job and H&R actually won the bid for th this round of uh, rifles and this particular one was made there was another model I don't remember they did have a civilian model before this uh, and this one's patterned after that, but it is very much like a Winchester 52 as far as the action goes. And uh, let me give you a flyby on this guy. It does have this one does have an Al Freeland. Um, it does have an Al Freeland butt hook on it. I would like to find an original butt piece for this. I do have the Redfield sights that it came with originally uh, but right now we are sporting a Fecker 16x scope on here and uh, this is a very old scope <laughs> this scope hails from back in the 1920s um, originally Fecker started making scopes in around 1923 and uh, only for the first couple years uh, they didn't mark the scopes uh, to what power they were uh, magnified with and this one is not marked anywhere so this is a early very early production uh, Fecker scope but it is a little bit more powerful than my 14x inertle and back in that day they only made they made a they made other ones but they made a 12x and they made a 16x they didn't make a 14 so um, Best I can tell, this one is a 16X. We're going to go ahead and shoot a couple groups at uh, 50 yards. I've got my camera set up on a splatter burst down there. Uh, it is a little bit windy. I was actually thinking about doing a uh, Grinchmas challenge with this guy, but uh, it is a bit, bit windy for that today. So we're just going to go ahead and shoot some groups and have some fun with it. But uh, I did take a pic take a picture of through the scope and uh, it is not <laughs> it does not do the scope any justice at all this thing is a very very clear scope um, I don't think in the picture you can even see the crosshairs but you can see that you can see the uh, camera and the target downrange so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna do a couple different groups here I've got uh, some some wolf I've got some Aguila and actually, I've got some Elay over there I want to try with it as well. Um, but let's go ahead and see what we can do. Um, I think it'll do pretty good. <laughs> All right, let's go to, uh, let's go to 12 o'clock with these ones. This thing has a fantastic trigger in the ounces. The last time I had it out, I actually had a uh, an issue where the the whole uh, action had slid in the stock and the stock was actually binding up the trigger so it was really hard to pull so I'm not sure what happened there I loosened all the stock screws and it slid forward about a millimeter and then I re uh, retorqued them and the thing is back to perfect again so I'm not sure how it would have gotten slid I didn't drop it or anything. It's 
always in a hard shell case and handled very gingerly by me. <laughs> Alrighty, that's looking like a nice group so far. This gun is a uh, single shot only, very much like the uh, Winchester 52Ds and E's were that it replaced. Yeah, we're kind of riding up a little bit. <clears throat> It is cold out, so the barrel might be heating up and getting a little bit of deflection by heating up there a little bit. But Alrighty, not a bad looking group. So now let's, uh, I do have the Elay, it, got to grab that, but let's uh, go ahead and try a group with the Aguila Super Extra most budget-friendly ammo I have out here today. All right, let's see. Let's go to 3 o'clock with these guys. Maybe I could have shot a Grinchmas challenge, I don't know. Sometimes it's nice to just just plink and not have to worry about <laughs> scoring anything or I love doing those challenges, but sometimes it's just nice to relax. Wow. Really shooting good with these Aguilas. All right. Very nice. Let me grab that Elay real quick. So we got the Elay target. I might have to try another another group with that uh, Aguila just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. All righty, so let's go to, and we'll go right to the center here. Use a couple clicks down overall, but doing pretty good. Wow, what a nice trigger. That is so smooth. You know what I didn't do when I had it out of the stock is uh, actually look to see if that trigger mechanism is like the, the Winchester 52s. The Winchester 52s have a beautiful trigger mechanism. That's not a bad group either. I want to do one more with that Aguila though. That, that really has got me intrigued on how well this gun shot with that Aguila. Alrighty. We'll do one more. I won't keep you on for too much more, but we'll get this we'll get this group in. Oh. Low battery. Well, hopefully we got enough to finish up this group. <laughs> All right. Nine o'clock. Ooh, 
That sounded uh, noticeably louder than some of the other shots. bad. Not as good as the first group, but still a pretty darn good group. Barrel might be heating up a little bit more. Last shot, let's make it count. All righty, well, th those are all pretty darn good looking groups. I would say the first Aguila group was probably half an inch, if that. Uh, the rest of them are maybe three quarters of an inch. So pretty darn good. But uh, anyway, there you go. That is uh, my H&R M12. Uh, it is U.S. property marked uh, with a U.S. serial number, uh, as all of them would have been. Uh, all of these were all government property at one point in time uh, as part of the contract like we talked about before. After this, uh, the Kimber actually came out with the is it 86, 85G or something like that. Uh, I still haven't got my hands on one of those yet, but I will one of these days. So. Anyway, there you go, H&R uh, M12 with a Fecker uh, 16X, very old Fecker 16X scope, and uh, great day to be out here shooting. Hope you guys liked the video. Until next time, have a great day.